Tennessee, end of course, Algebra 1 practice test. This is question number 31. In this question, I'm asked to show a graph that best represents the, the solution to a system of linear equations. Now, in order to graph them in the calculator, it makes my life much easier if I uh, try to put that in as close to slope-intercept form as possible. So that means getting y by itself. So I'm going to take this x minus y is less than 0 thing, and then I'm going to move this x because I need to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Those cancel. I get negative y is less than negative x. And now, I, this is kind of like times negative 1, so I'm going to divide by negative 1. When I divide by a negative in that last step, this needs to flip over. So y is greater than x. Not greater than or equal to, greater than x. Now for the other one, 3y minus 6x is less than or, e or is greater than or equal to 0. That's an x there, sorry. I need to get y by itself, so I'm going to add 6x to both sides. Those cancel out. 0 plus 6x is 6x. Divide by 3. Now I'm dividing by 3 here, uh, and this 3 is positive, so I do not need to flip this over. 6 divided by 3 is 2x. So I need to make very uh, clear to myself which one of these two I put in the calculator first. It doesn't matter the order. I'm going to put them in in the order of um, the way that they are in the original question. So I'm going to put x here and 2x here. Now these really matter. You can shade them. I'm going to go up to X, click over to where the little windshield wipers go. If it's greater than, which this one is greater than, I'm going to try to hit enter a few times until I get what looks like the top of a sandwich. There it is. It says that shows that it's shading up. Now in the other one, I know that it's going to be shading up as well. Both of them look like the top of a sandwich. The reason that I need to know which one comes out first is because that is the one that the graph will graph first. And this is a dotted line. There's no line underneath this. The answer x is not included in the solution set, just anything above it. In this one it is. So the one I put in first, in this case, is the one that will be the dotted line. Now it's hard to do shaded and dotted at the same time, so I'm just going to graph it and watch. I forgot to reset my window. Hold on. Here comes the first one. Now the second one is the one that would be the solid line, and after in, in this first quadrant, it is the one that's on top. So I'm going to look for one that has the solid line on the top. See how this one has a dotted line on top? That's out. This one has a dotted line on top as well, and that's out. Now I'm going to look for shading. This has a very dark shade right here. That's because the shade from here is included as well as this one. So I'm looking for something that's shaded over here of the answer choices that I have left. That seems very much like D to me. So the answer to number 31 is D.